Welcome to the Patch Notes Overview for 318 Rising Flames. This patch will be coming to PC on September 27th and console the following week. Let's kick things off by checking out the new skins coming out this patch. First up, Naja is getting a new skin. Yep, you heard that right. After quite some time, Naja is getting a new skin, Fire Lord. The Lotus Prince has slet his old look ablaze and is ready for battle in his fiery new attire. Our next two skins are both available during the Odyssey, which has moved from the Japanese Pantheon to the Chinese Pantheon. Erlang Shen has decided to become the best like no one ever was in his new Monster Trainer skin. One of my favorite parts about this skin is how his celestial dog looks, keeping in the same adorable monster theme. Also, Alquan is getting a new Clockwork Knight skin. This skin is ridiculously cool with tons of gears and light effects. You'll also be able to pick up the Smiting Bolt Global Emote as a part of the Odyssey. As I mentioned last patch overview, there are Odyssey rewards that can be unlocked through Odyssey points. Purchasing Monster Trainer, Clockwork Knight, and the rest of the Odyssey skins all reward Odyssey points. You can also complete Odyssey quests to earn more points that you can use to unlock the rewards. The newest Odyssey reward coming out this patch is the Chinese Recall FX. Now let's move on to item changes. Hydra's Lament now has an additional passive where it will increase MP5 per 10% of your missing maximum mana. Plus it now has an increased physical power. Void Shield gets a cost increase, and Witchblade gets a nerf to physical protection, and Reinforced Greaves now has reduced power, health, and crowd control. Next, let's move on to God Changes. Agni's Flame Wave has an increased Persist time. Cupid is getting a few tweaks this patch. Love Struck no longer stacks with Share the Love. Heart Bomb gets an increased cooldown and increased radius of explosion. And Share the Love no longer consumes hearts. Flutter no longer provides attack speed when cast, but gives a passive attack speed and has a reduced cooldown. And finally, Fields of Love now mesmerizes enemies when activated, with the length of time depending on if you have exactly or less than max hearts. Isis's Wind Gust gets increased scaling, Izanami's basic attacks deal more damage and her base attack speed is increased. Izanami is also now invisible to minions when she begins channeling Fade Away. Raijin's Raiju gets reduced damage and increased magical power scaling. Thunder Crash also gets a reduced scaling on thunder damage. And finally, Terra's Crushing Earth no longer slows enemies standing between stones. Monolith's root duration is decreased, and Terra's Blessing has an increased cooldown. And that's it for the Patch Notes Overview for 318 Rising Flames. The complete patch notes are now available on smitegame.com, or you can click on the annotation to watch the patch notes show.